go boys. Let's go Frio. Let's go boys. Dockers, Cadenia Park. Last time we were here, we beat this mob by a few points. So, look, I don't think it'll be the same. I think we're going to get absolutely smoked. I reckon the Cats probably get up by eight to ten goals because we have been playing some really bad footy. Watch us against the Pies. We competed well in the first and then just went to shit. And look, it's just a home fortress here for the Cats. So I don't think it's going to be a good look for us. And I just don't see us getting this done. It's a beautiful day, though. It's a day for it. The sun is out. I'm in the Dockers cheer squad, being able to get tickets somehow, which is miraculous. However, uh, yeah, hopefully the boys can just show something positive, put up a bit of a fight. However, obviously, we're just not going to get it done today. So I question why I'm even here, to be honest. However, hopefully we just put up a bit of an effort, put up a bit of a fight, and show some positives. Let's go, Frio. Go boys. <laughs> and the cats get off the mark. Alex Pierce walks off his line and then gets caught holding the footy. So the cats kick the first 10 minutes in. So easy. It is too easy. The Cats have kicked the first two of the game. It's 25 minutes in and it's 14 to 1. Low scoring shit game. We haven't been able to hit anyone up in our forward half of the ground. It's just looking like a boring, low scoring, shocking game. Well, that has both given me a headache and also nearly put me to sleep. That was the most boring quarter I've seen of us all year. Shocking. We've scored two points from it. Every time we went down in it, into our forward line or just into our forward half, there were no options. Every time someone got up, it would either be an intercept mark to Geelong and we just cannot move the ball forward to save our lives. However, Geelong, look on the positives. We've only kept them, we've kept them to two goals, which is actually not too bad. However, bored out of my mind here at GMHBA, it is so dead here, it's so quiet, the fans haven't even come out for the Cats, like, it's, it's not that loud here, and it's 2 2 14, so two points for the Dockers, so we need to fix something when we're going down forward, because nothing is working for us at the moment, and we need to really just kick a snag, like seriously, there was one goal scored within the first, like 25 minutes of, this, of the first, boring, very boring quarter. Michael Barlow just chilling in the Frio cheer squad as well, which is pretty cool to see. However, we just need to kick the first of this second because we're not out of it, that's for sure. Go, Walters! Snap! Oh, yeah! Come on! There we go. So I said we needed the first of that second. Sunny snaps. We kick our first of the game as well. First of the game, two and a half minutes into the second. We needed that one just to stay in it. Sarong. Frederick out the back! Yeah! Come on! Come on! We've kicked two in a minute. We've kicked two in a minute. And we've leveled the scores. 2-2-14. Two, 2-2-14. Two, 14. Two, two, 14. Freddy, Frederick out the back. Easy, cheap kick. But it's still six points, which is valuable. So we've kicked two in a minute. And the opening first two of the second. Come on, Freya. Sweater! 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 We've kicked three in three minutes. We've kicked three in three minutes. Can you believe this? Three in three minutes for the Dockers. We've kicked the opening three of the quarter and we've hit the front. I don't know what JL said at quarter time, but it's working. We've kicked three in three minutes, five minutes into the second. Frio up by a goal. This is crazy. Hawkins has kicked it. So the Cats kick one back, 3-2-20, plays 3-2-20, we're all tied up. And the Cats kick one, let's put them back up, they're up by 5, 4-3-27, four, 
3 4 22, 20 minutes into the second. To be fair, we're staying with the Cats, which is good. Obviously, kicked those first three goals of the quarter and haven't done anything since, so a goal would be handy just to uh, yeah, get the scoring back on track. Oh, not 15 touch. On the deck, go! Go! Who was that? Come on. Not sure who kicked it, but we're back up, so it's a back and forth game of footy. And we've hit the front again. Dockers up by points. It's actually shaping up to be a good game. I thought Geelong were going to smoke us from the get-go, but we're actually staying in. Come on, Josh. Corbett will kick it. Come on. Come on. There we go. And only seconds remain until half-time. And he's put us up by a point. If we can be up at half-time, there's a lot of positives in that. Siren. That is a great turn. The Dockers up by one at half time. When all looked lost at the quarter time. I was falling asleep. It was a dead game of footy. Down by a couple of goals. Come out in the second. We've kicked five. And we kicked the first three in the first five minutes of the game. So good looking signs here for the Dockers. We're up by one point at half time. Let's go Frio! And most of our scoring that quarter came from those crumbs. So get it to the big men in the packs and then let the crummers do their work. Let Walters do his work. Let Frederick do his work. Let Lockie Schultz do his work. That's where our, most of our scoring is coming from. And that's really what got us in this game because we kicked the first three of that quarter through pretty much all crumbs. I'm pretty sure there wasn't one set shot involved in the first three of that term. So three and three minutes, very convincing footy. And yeah, as I said, just get it to those crummers because they are starting to do the trick. has hit the post from straight in front. Come on, Stuart. Yes! Come on! Come on! All right. Stuart kicks it. Puts us up by five. Ten minutes into the third. Puts us up by five. Six, five, 41. Five, six, 36. Look, it's going to go down to the wire, this one. It's giving me flashbacks from last year when we played here. Oh, he's found it. He played on. He played on. He played on. On the ball. He played on in the fence. And I tell you what, it is not a library anymore. The Cats fans are finally starting to cheer. They're inside 50. But it is not a library anymore. And the atmosphere is now building up. 39 plays 41. Freo up by two points. 17 minutes into this third term. Yeah, geez, this is a good game. This is a great game. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a free oh free. It's Hayden Young's free. Oh, oh, the Cats fans are not happy about it. Oh, oh no. Cats fans are not happy about it. As the boos ring around GMHBA, listen to it. Goodness me, Swikowski, Swikowski gives it off. Sturt, Frederick, Sweeter, 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 Sweeter. Oh, on the line. Oh, points. And the boos will ring around GMHBA. The Cats are back in front. Wow. What a game here at GMHBA. Cats up by three. 45, 42, 21 minutes into the third. Yeah! Come on. So he puts us back in front. We're up by three. Back and forth game of footy. 45, plays 48. Under two minutes to go in the third. Jesus Christ, this is going to be going right down to the wire. However, we're up and about, and the cheer squad is getting loud. Here we go. So Cameron after the siren to put Geelong up at three quarter time. This is a big kick. This is a big kick. It's a difficult one as well. Oh shit. 
sprays it. Point. All right. The Dockers up by three points at three quarter time. 46 plays 49. And it's a very, very similar contest to when we played Geelong this time last year at GMHBA. It's a very similar contest, so it's going to go straight down to the wire. Dockers up by three at three quarter time. One more quarter to do it. Jay, this is going to be a ripping last term. Genuinely could not tell you who gets it done. However, we've put on a bit of a clinic all day apart from that first term. It was shocking. So, geez, here we go. We've got the win this term as well. So, look, win this term. And last time we'll kick in this way. We kicked three in three minutes. So, one more term to go. Up by three points. Good signs coming to last. And Hawkins already kicks the first for the Cats under two minutes into the last. And they hit the front again, they're up by three. Keeps it in and close will go. Look, not a good start. The Cats kick the first two within the first three minutes of the last. Jeez, and just like that, we're down by nine. So you can see how quickly this game can shift. But then again, we've got the wind. We're heading downhill. We kick three in three minutes in the second when we're kicking down here. We've got to do something similar to keep ourselves in it because now we're down by nine. The Cats have kicked two in a minute. Oh, no, it's just not looking good. Barrel for checkers. Sets it up. Shoots! Lucky! Lockie's taking a grab and Schultz will go back from 25. Slight angle. Should kick. Lockie Schultz. Must kick. Yes! Come on! Come on! Alright. Schultz kicks it. Back within two points. 56, 58. Cats up by two. Anyone's game. Anyone's game, nine minutes into the last. I can't divide the two sides, it is so even at the moment. Lukey Jackson to put us up by four. To put us up by four, Jackson. It's gone right, it's on the line, it could have gone through. Touched on the line. It's a one point ball game. Cats up by one. The Cats extend their lead to seven. Oh no, 13 minutes into the last. 64 plays 57. Cats up by seven points, so. Look, we can't let them get another one in a row. Then I'll be up by 13 and it'll be a bit of a tough contest to ask for. So we've really just got to kick the necks to stay in it. Frederick, Frederick's onto it. Frederick's onto it, picks it up. Oh, this would be something. Oh! oh! Michael Frederick! How on earth has he kicked that? I knew he was a chance from there. And he slotted it. It's a one point game. We're down by one. Frederick, that could genuinely be goal of the year. That was flushed off the boot. Here we go. That was flushed off the boot. That's a beautiful kick. One point game. Inside, up, at the back, Sweeter, give it to Sweeter, in the back, in the back, Sweeter, 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 come on, we're up, come on, Sweeter puts us in front by five, Sweeter puts us in front by five, Freo! 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 <laughs> oh! Sweater around the body. We're up by five. 20 minutes in to the last. And Stewart! Sam Stewart will go back, take his 30, to put us up by 11. 
Sturt, it's a, it's a tough kick. It's exactly where Cameron kicked on three quarter time siren. Oh, hooks it right. Hooks it left, should I say. It is a one goal game here at GMHBA. Can you believe it? He's going straight down to the wire. A goal of my ball! Stoppage. Look at that. Free! A minute to go. We're up by seven. Oh! Marked by Amos on the ground. Go to Corbett. Go to Corbett. Go to Corbett. He goes a bit longer. Walters. Oh, Liam Henry nearly. Smith. They've got to go now. They've got to go now. Henry. Can't trap it. Under a minute to go. It's a free kick free -o. Free kick free -o. And that could, that could and should be it. That should be it. Blow the side. We're going to win. Yeah! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Frio have done a miracle. We've knocked off the Cats at GMHBA two years in a row. Can you believe it? Come on, Frio! What a game. What a game. Frio! Pass all the obstacles once again. Paddy Dangerfield right behind me getting in his car being swarmed by the paparazzi, but he is not the man of the match, and I'll tell you who is the man of the match, the entire Frio Dockers side. We have knocked off Geelong in Geelong two years in a row. How crazy is that? Coming to the game being $9.50 odds compared to $1 something. We've knocked him off again. After all what well, looked lost in the season, we've been having loss after loss, L after L, home and away. And then we come to the cattery and we knock off the cats at their home deck for the second time in a row. The last two meetings we've had against the cats here, we've knocked them off. Last year by three points, this year by seven points. Very, very similar games of footy. Very similar scoring as well. Like everything was so similar. Um, 
with this game compared to last year. Just went down to the rooms, like just outside the rooms where the players were getting on the bus for the last like 35, 40 minutes and got photos with pretty much every player as well, which is really cool. Like you can just go out, go there, have a chat while the players are walking out about to get on the bus. So, so cool. I was right next to a girl who got, um, who got Andy Brayshaw's boots. So one inch closer just to, you know, maybe picking up some boots at the end of the game. I still am owed Sean Darcy's boots, but Nonetheless, this has been a ride and a half. Thank you to everyone for watching today's match day vlog. Obviously, they're going to continue. We've only got one more left in the year, which is Frio Hawthorne at the MCG last round of the season. That's going to be the last vlog of this year. So leave a like, guys, and also subscribe to the channel because this is a journey that I want every one of you to be on with me what a game. Come on, Freya.